Hi there, this is Gary Ryan Blair, and I've got a great message for you titled, Indecent Exposure. It's not what you think it is. You know, the statement you become what you think about, it reminds us that our thoughts affect who we are. It also points out the connection between what we think and what we become. Now, this understanding is both enhanced and magnified once you combine it with the law of exposure. The law of exposure tells us that our minds think about, it processes, and it attracts whatever it is most exposed to. And this performance law is fueled by the following understandings. Number one, what enters your mind repeatedly first occupies your mind and then eventually shapes both your perception and your reality. Number two, your mind will absorb and then it will ultimately reflect whatever it gets repeatedly exposed to. Number three, the events you attend, the materials you read, the music you listen to, the images you watch, the conversations you hold, the friends you hang out with, the daydreams you entertain, all of these are right now shaping your mind, then your character, and eventually your future. Number four, the environment where you live and work, along with the behavior demonstrated by parents and authority figures, as well as the standards and expectations that are enforced or unenforced, create patterns of thinking which liberate or debilitate your mind. And finally, number five, you expose people to your behavior every single day. And as a result, you either make deposits or withdrawals into their psychological bank account. Now, I'd like you to consider a few questions as it relates to the law of exposure. What am I currently exposing my mind to on a daily basis? What impact is that exposure having on my performance, on my reputation, and on my quality of life? What should I be exposing my mind to on a daily basis? What am I exposing other people to when they look at my behavior? What steps should I take to ensure that I'm exposed to better people, better places, behaviors, and results? And finally, what indecencies should I no longer be exposing my mind to? So now let's turn our attention and focus on what I titled this program, Indecent Exposure. See, indecent exposure is a deliberate exposure by a person or a portion of his or her own body that is likely to be seen as vulgar, offensive, and contrary to accepted standards of decency. And as it relates to your personal and your professional performance, this is the part that I want to focus in on. Indecent exposure consists of anything that pollutes, that contaminates, and corrupts your mind, body, or soul. So let me provide you with a short list. Excuses, junk food, self-pity, violence, lack of integrity, inconsistency, apathy, lying, sarcasm, gossip, procrastination, anger, jealousy, Mediocrity, fear, worry, prejudice, dumbed down television, stupid social media videos, obscene music, pornography, and vulgar language and behavior. See, far too many people allowing themselves to be overexposed to these type of behavioral indecencies, which in turn negatively impact their results, their relationships, their reputation, and their future. It absolutely amazes me to see how many people think that they can live as they want that they can willingly expose their beautiful mind to such trash and they can avoid this law of exposure and self-abuse, that somehow they really think that they're the exception of the rule. These people think they could read anything they want that won't affect them. They actually believe that they could listen to nasty music, watch violent programming, hang out with stupid people and think that it won't have any negative effect on their future. What a joke. This type of behavior is completely nuts. It might very well be one of the greatest ironies ever. At a time when all the world's knowledge is just one click away, when immediate access to all that is good, that's positive, uplifting, and transformative is yours to be had, and most of it, for free, the sad reality is that more people today suffer from a poverty of information, a scarcity of ideas, and a deficiency of inspiration, imagination, and initiative more than they suffer from the absence of money or honest legal opportunity in order to get it. So in conclusion... Your output depends on your input. Therefore, you must be intentional by protecting, by nurturing, and defending what enters your melon. And to live a life of excellence and abundance, you have but one choice, and that is, only expose your mind to that which is true, that which is noble, right, pure, loving, admirable, and inspiring. If anything is excellent or praiseworthy, you must expose your mind accordingly. And I promise you this, you cannot overexpose your mind with these types of positive inputs. And one final thought. 
Once you say, yes, I'm ready for the 100 day challenge, you'll be exposed to the best ideas, the smartest strategies, and the most powerful disciplines for living a widely successful life. So go visit the 100 day challenge at 100 daychallenge.com and make it the very next thing you do.